Well, I'm here with Major Greg Thompson from Divisional Commander from the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. um, should I call you Major or should I call you Greg? Or you should can I call, call you? me either. I've been okay. called much worse, so you can call me either <laughs> one of those. <laughs> well, Major Greg, Greg, um, you know, it's it's this time of year. It's it's yes. the holiday season. Yes. Um, you just had your kickoff, the Tree of Lights kickoff, not we too did, long ago. Yes. And I like that beautiful tree at, at 90th and Dodge. It's so wonderful, isn't it? It is wonderful. Yeah. And uh, how long have we been at 90th and Dodge? Um, I believe it's been almost 20 years. Has it, okay, because yeah. I remember when it was like... Way down at Crossroads. At Crossroads. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. But American National you Bank... You know, they're such great partners. They, yeah. they donate the space. They, they provide the electricity. They keep the whole thing lit throughout the entire yeah. season. They're, they're wonderful. Yeah. yeah. And also want to mention, we just were talking before we, we rolled here on camera, yeah. about Travis from Bright Ideas, who yes. actually... Travis designed the entire tree. In yeah. fact, and three years ago, we were using the old style lights, and we had such such an ice storm. And they were, they were, they were out there fixing lights every year. And we're like, Travis, what do we need to do? He said, Well, you really need to go to the LED lights. So we refit, refitted yeah. the entire tree, and that's why it's much brighter now and 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 just more vibrant. Yeah. Well, what is the tree of light? Just what is the tree of lights campaign? It's not just lighting a tree. I oh, mean, clearly, there, yeah. There's more to right, it. So right, what right. is it? It, the reality, it's our largest fundraiser throughout the year. Um, this is we, we hope to raise $3 million in, in this short amount of time from November 8th to December 29th. And so that, and that comes through not just the red kettles that you see, but it comes through corporate donations and different fundraising things that we do throughout the season in order to raise that amount of money. But that's really what the, what the tree represents, that now is, now is the time to think about the Salvation Army. Yeah. But I think, the, I think the most important thing is to remember that while this becomes a very visible moment for us in the Salvation Army, we're, we're here the whole year. Yeah, absolutely. And, 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 and the money that, we, that people raise for us um, helps us help transform people's lives throughout the entire year. Yeah, and talk about that a little bit. How do you transform people's what? lives? Well, that's, uh, I, I like to tell people we, we go cradle to grave. So yeah. we, have, we, have, we have a wonderful Head Start program that we do. We have, we have a marvelous housing, housing structure. We do, we do some apartments that we put people in. We run those apartments. Uh -huh. we, we have a, a veterans um, apartment building that we put veterans with uh, mental health issues in, and we try to help them oh. through that and get them on to the next phase of their lives. We have senior citizens housing. Um, we, have, uh, we have counseling services that go along with our mental health. We, we help with human trafficking as well. We try to get victims out of human trafficking. Um, and not only that, but we have recreation centers throughout the, the metro area that we will help with whole families and, yeah. and getting the things. So, so we try to get we try to get people to um, into the spot where they need the most help. Um, do you need food? Do you need medical assistance? What, what what do you need, and how can we help you? And we do our best to do that. And that really helps us take people who are sometimes at the most desperate points in their lives and give them that hand up and get them to the next level so they can continue to be productive citizens. Yeah. And a lot of times when I talk to, just going back to the Tree of Lights, mm -hmm. um, when I talk to people, um, families, one of the ways that they've gotten their kids involved is to ring bells. Yes. Um, a funny thing you said, because I was just talking to um, someone, um, someone today, that you know, I don't think people understand that ringing bells is really a moment for them to give much more than they probably would if they were just giving a dollar or two in the kettle. You know, if you stand there for two hours, mm -hmm. you could literally be giving us two hundred dollars yeah. at that point, and that's that's free money because you stood there and volunteered to do that. Where you would not be able to necessarily give that much money yourself personally. So right. I think there's that investment, and then that two hundred dollars, then we we can take that and help a variety of people in a variety of different ways that normally you would not be able to do it out of your own pocket. So, yeah. so we do encourage people to do that. I think you go to ringbells.org and then you can sign okay. up to do that. So. I have rang bells yeah. in the past and um, it's been it, it's been fun. And I also, from a person that does put money in the kettle, mm -hmm. I kind of, just for me personally, I have like this little pool of money because whenever I walk by a kettle, I want to put money in it. So I you don't want to leave the salvage over. I got to have a dollar all yeah, the time. I mean, so, I just yeah. need to have that. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. I'll end up, you know, I don't know how much money I'll give over the, but I always mm -hmm. want to do that. And it's also so much fun when people or kids, if they're singing or yep. if they've got 
uh, if they're doing yeah. kind of fun yeah. things, you know, because it is, it's, it's. Go ahead, but if you want to, if you want to help us the most, bring a kid along. Yeah. That'll be, people, people give money to the kids. Yeah. <laughs> and I've had people playing saxophones or yes. people yes. dancing. So it's just, yeah. or whatever. Just having a fun time out there. It is, yep. because it's yeah. all about, you know, yeah. the spirit of the holidays. I just feel like it's, it's, it's contagious. Um, yeah. And then it does spread into the rest of the year. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Yeah. And we're doing so you were going to did you you're going to take me there now? I'm okay. going to take you there now. <laughs> okay. So, let's talk about kettle pay. Kettle pay. What is that? So, something very new we're doing. We have for for several years realized that a lot of people are not carrying cash. I have I have millennial children who never have right. they don't even have 10 cents on them so they, cuz they do everything with a card or with their, right. or with their phones now with yeah. with apple pay and google pay and we are now at a point where we're able to accept apple pay and google pay at a kettle um, and you do that much like you would if you were going to mcdonald's you know you would you it says apple pay and they've got the little machine and you put yep. your phone on there and it takes the money it's the same thing we'll have a we'll have a near field communication point on every kettle stand and you'll be able to tap your phone to that and then give at that point i'm going to try that out yeah um, and if you don't that's now that's on the newer phones okay so if you have an older phone we will have a qr code on there that you could go to do to okay. a website and give there as well okay so. but every kettle in the community every will have that in the omaha community okay yes. we'll have that opportunity yep. to do mm -hmm. that and council bus omaha and council yep. bus, yeah. okay um how can people find out more about just the Salvation Army in general website? Well, yeah, we have two websites. Um, one, it, it depends on what you want to do, really. We mm -hmm. have one, um, um, Sal Army Omaha, which is a salarmyomaha.org, okay. which is our basic website. That's right. where you go to hear about our services. You can donate there, everything. If you want to do something that's very specific in donations, we're also doing a Red Kettle Give dot org this year okay and so we have two sites so sal army omaha if you want to know everything and donate or red kettle give if you want to donate specifically to the red kettles okay and then again when you're driving down dodge street 90th and dodge that beautiful that beautiful tree, tree yes i hope everyone enjoys it as much as i do when i drive yeah. around like, oh there's that beautiful tree yeah um right mm -hmm. on the property of american national right. bank on that yep. corner mm -hmm. um and like you said they're such great supporters and they do are. so much they are um anything we're missing with this conversation? I don't think so. I, I, okay. just, just probably to reiterate that people, people don't misunderstand that if, if we're, we're out there at Christmas because it's one of our biggest fundraiser moments, yeah. but that, that really, that, that money helps us throughout the year uh, to help, help people's yeah, lives. Yeah, yeah, so. and again, you do so much good in the community, so. Thank you. Um, thank you for joining me today. No problem, it's good to be here. Yeah, and happy holidays. Thank you. You're welcome. And we will be right back.